Uh, my name is uh, Ron Kleeman. This is my painting. I'm a photorealist. Uh, I love chrome. <laughs> I love shiny objects. <laughs> America is an exhibition that uh, deals with the early years of a movement that was known variously as photorealism, hyperrealism, new realism. A lot of different terms were used, but in principle, artists in the late 1960s in the United States, some of them Europeans working in the United States, began taking a real photograph as the point of departure for their paintings. I'm Robert Bechtel. Uh, this painting uh, is called uh, Foster's Freeze Escalon. Uh, it's part of a series of paintings that I had done of uh, people sitting at tables, uh, having, you know, casually doing nothing basically. So as part of the uh, structure I decided to explore three major themes. One was on the city, reflections on the city, because many artists explored what happens when you have a reflective surface like a window or a telephone booth. And, um, and also all the imagery, this kind of barrage of imagery. And then the second theme is a theme called the culture of consumption. And part of this is that there was a, of course, this is the time when the emergence of fast food culture and eating out. And so um, I chose a lot of different themes. I'm actually standing now in front of the McDonald's painting uh, by Ralph Goings. And this idea of um, consumptive pro properties is also not just so literal as I'm showing with the food, but also in terms of cars. Um, and cars both as um, America loving to consume luxury uh, vehicles, but also the idea of consumption at a time when there was a gas shortage. So, I mean, that's an underlying idea. And finally, um, American life, which charts mostly the suburban American experience, leisure time, and uh, portraiture, because a lot of artists were painting very large-scale portraits of their family members and friends and themselves. And, and I added one additional section called the Documenta Portfolio, because in fact, photorealism had its major debut here in Germany in 1972 at Documenta 5. And uh, on that occasion, there was a lithograph portfolio made to commemorate it, and so we're showing it here. In Western painting, you know, it's a, long, a, a tradition that goes way back, certainly. Um, you know, I mean, there's everyday stuff even, you know, like in the, the Roman floor mosaics, you know, in Pompeii, where they did uh, uh, bits of food, you know, that sort of look like it's been spilled on the floor, but it's all part of the, uh, the, the picture. Um, and, you know, in terms of modern painting, it, you know, really goes back to the Dutch pictures of the 17th century, so it's not that I'm thinking about those, you know, when I'm painting, but I sort of see that as part of the continuum that I'm working in. I think the end of the 1970s, and um, I started these paintings of store windows with mannequins, and. Uh, the idea being to contrast artificial uh, people with real street scenes and real people to so a kind of interaction of uh, the two elements. And the, uh, the, interestingly, this figure is actually uh, a friend of mine who was a, a mentor and also a, an important American film director Hollywood uh, film director Hal Ashby, who directed uh, some big Hollywood films. This is Hal Ashby. That's Hal Ashby, yeah.
What's sort of interesting about this art here is it was about a moment where photography and, and of course television were beginning to be the way people saw their reality, but it was still very contained. Whereas we're in an environment with the internet and with 24 hour news that the way reality is presented is even more mediated and it's even more diverse. And so I don't know if that same kind of retreat is possible. I, I don't know that people can, can close their doors as easily in a world that's so connected. Are those all from sunglasses? Yes. <laughs> so I'm sort of there uh, in absentia. I guess that's, uh, that's implied. Do you still have a sunglasses? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid they, they're, they're cheap plastic sunglasses that uh, disappeared uh, many years ago. But the painting survives. Yeah, but the painting survives, yes. That's one of the nice things about painting. We sold all, most of the painting. I haven't seen this painting in 30 years, you know. What happened? What happened? Time passed.